I'm Mike Sinclair, and welcome to the Screen Freak Rewind. In today's Magic Reveal tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to perform a really neat levitation without the use of any expensive gimmicks, invisible threads, or even loops. You guys are literally going to be able to perform this with items you have lying around your house. Now, I know you guys really enjoy the loop videos, and I'm going to continue to make those. But it's come to my attention that I have a lot of younger viewers and people that just don't have the money or the means to go out and buy the invisible threads and the loops. So I wanted to give you guys something that everyone is going to be able to do. So if you guys are ready, let's check it out. Okay guys, for this trick we're going to be using a piece of paper. Now this is printer paper. You can use notebook paper, construction paper, pretty much any type of paper you want. We're just going to ball it up into a little ball, like so. Now watch. Just like that. You guys ready to learn how that was done? Perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Okay guys, to pull off this effect we're going to be using a very old concept that's used in a lot of effects including big stage illusions. This is one of those concepts that once you learn it you're going to be able to adapt it into lots of different other effects. So it's always great learning little secrets like this. Here's what you're going to need. First, you're going to need a piece of paper. Now I'm using printer paper, you can use notebook paper, it doesn't matter. A good sturdy paper. And you're going to need a secret weapon, a pencil. Now I'm using a pencil, you can use a pen if it's long enough. You can even use a chopstick. Or if you want to get elaborate, you can take a coat hanger and snip it at the ends. And it's going to be very difficult to see. But if you want impromptu, go ahead and grab your pencil. Everyone's got a pencil laying around and a piece of paper. Now here's the setup. We're going to take the pencil with the eraser side and we're going to put it in the palm of our hand and we're going to clasp it with our pinky just like that. And We're going to rotate around and as you guys can see or can't see it's completely concealed and you're pretty good from several different angles. You want to make sure to practice this in the mirror first to see exactly what you can do, exactly which way you can turn your hand without exposing Next, we're going to take our paper, and uh, this can be examined beforehand if you want. Meanwhile, pencil stuck behind just like this. Your other hand, you're going to try your best to mirror exactly what you're doing with this hand. You don't want this hand to be crunched down, and then your other hand is freely open, because it looks like you're hiding something, and we want to avoid that at all costs. So, simply just like this, pencil hid right behind our forearm. From here, we're going to start balling up the paper, and I'm going to do this without the paper first start balling up the paper and as we do that we're going to bring the pencil right to the middle of our chest we're going to push it up against our chest and start balling the paper up using the pencil as stability and leverage just like that and then we'll have the ball on the end of it so with the paper it's going to look something like this again with the pinky hiding by the forearm mirrored images we're going to start balling it up and I've already got the pencil behind I'm just going to start balling it over top of the pencil and this looks very natural so don't worry about people thinking you're doing something suspicious because it looks very natural now you want to ball this up into a fairly tight ball you don't want it too tight because the tighter it is the smaller it's going to be and the more risk of exposing the pencil if you have it too loose it's going to spin around on the pencil you don't want that either so you want a nice tight little ball not too big not too small now from this point we've balled it up and we're going to take our hand rotate it over and as you can see it's completely concealed we're going to open up our other hand and we're going to place the ball right at the edge of our fingertips just like so and from this angle and you want to do this one on one straight in front of someone you can't see the pencil running behind now here's how we're going to levitate it we're going to use this as a little lever going to kind of wave our hand over it, a little magical gesture, maybe trying to build some energy. You can do whatever you want to do. And we're going to slowly take our palm and we're going to press down and it's going to cause that to lift up. So from here, we're going to start pushing down with the back of our palm and you'll see it start to get a little bit of air. And you could go side to side if you want. Make sure you do not expose that pencil. If you do, 
obviously the trick will be completely ruined. Another thing you want to watch out for, if you have a lot of light on you, you may be able to see the shadow of the pencil just like that beneath the paper on your hand. You don't want that either. So just practice with this using your palm. You don't want to jerk your motion. You want to do it slow, very slow. You don't want to levitate it too long, a couple seconds maybe, a few seconds if you would like. I'm just going to push down, let it levitate being sure not to expose. We're going to let it back down. As we do that, we're going to reach in front. We're going to take the ball and we can simply steal the pencil away with this hand, hand the ball out for examination, and we can ditch the pencil in our pocket. And that is how you levitate a piece of paper. Well, that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was easy to follow, and I hope you guys are going to be practicing and performing this on your next outing. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to leave a comment, share these videos, and subscribe for more magic and magic revealed. Thanks for being awesome. See you guys next time.